believe what I see the Lord at Jesus free I am free yes free indeed oh, it is joy unspeakable and full of glory full of glory full of glory joy unspeakable and full of glory the hell have never yet been told Whoa, I have found the joy no tongue can tell always waves of glory roll it is like a great or flowing well filling up within my soul oh, it is just unspeakable and full of glory full of glory full Of glory the have have never yet been told. Oh, J O Y joy, joy in the Holy Ghost. J O Y joy, joy in the Lord. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Joy in the Lord, J O Y joy, joy in the Holy Ghost, J O Y joy, joy, joy in the Lord. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Don't let nobody steal your joy. Joy in the Lord. All my sins were washed away in the Savior's blood. Oh, what a glorious way. Since I started climbing on the King's Highway, I praise Him every day. I'm on my way to glow because I have the joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. Yes, it's real. What a thrill, such a feeling. My, what a blessing. Sweet and refreshing. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. Yes, it's real. What a true, what a feeling My, what, what a, a blessing, blessing Sweet and refreshing For he gave his love so true to me yeah. Every day I still I got it sweeter still Though I can't explain it all to you yeah. This joy I have You can have it too You can have The joy of a spirit This spirit I can feel it Yes, it's real What a true, such a feeling, feeling. My, what, what a blessing Sweet and refreshing the joy, the joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. Yes, it's real. What a chill, what a feeling. My, what a blessing, sweet and refreshing. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. Yes, it's real. What a chill, what a feeling. My, what a blessing, sweet and refreshing. Oh. All my sins were washed away in the Savior's blood. Oh, what a glorious day since I started walking on the King's Highway. I praise Him every day. I'm on my way to glory because I have the joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. Joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. All my sins were washed away in the Savior's blood. What a glorious day. I saw a kid walking on the King's Highway. I praise Him every day. I'm on my way to go. Cause I have the joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the Spirit. The joy of the Spirit. This minute I can feel it. Yes, it's real. What a dream. Such a feeling. My what a sweet and refreshing. Yes, it's real. What a dream. What a feeling. I want a blessing. Sweet and refreshing. Yes, it's real. What a thrill. Such a feeling. I want a blessing. Sweet and refreshing. 
Yes, it's real. What a thrill, such a feeling. I want to bless it sweet and refreshing. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. Joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. Get dream, get the dream. What a dream, what a feeling. My what a blessing, sweet and refreshing. Whoa, yes it's real. What a dream, what a feeling. My what a blessing, sweet and refreshing. Whoa, yes it's real. What a dream, such a feeling. My what a blessing. Oh, yes, it's real. What a thrill, such a feeling. My, what a blessing, sweet and refreshing. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The joy of the spirit. The joy of the spirit. This minute I can feel it. The Pentecostal fire is burning in my soul. Just like the man on the mayor's road, I feel the fire burn. And if you want to feel the fire, your heart must be heaven bound. The Pentecostal fire is burning in my soul. One more time. The Pentecostal fire is burning in my soul. Just like the man on the mayor's road, I feel the fire burn. And if you want to feel the fire, your heart must be heaven bound. The Pentecostal fire is burning in my soul. Say burning, 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 burning. And if you want to feel the fire, your heart must be a bamboo. The Pentecostal fire is burning in my soul. Come on, put your hands together. Something about the fire, you can't keep quiet when they get burned. Hallelujah. Let me hear the Holy Ghost people put your hands together. Burn it, 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 burn it
Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Talking about the Pentecostal fire. And it is burning. It is rarely burning. Put your hands together for Witton Choir. Come on, do a little better than that. God bless your ministry. God bless your ministry. And I just want to say a big thank you. To all that has given tonight in such a dynamic way. Another hand together. Come on, put it together everybody. The God of heaven bless you richly. And we just want to welcome those that came in a moment ago. And we are going to proceed. We are on the preacher's time. But let me ask our convener. Bishop Keith Williams to say a word. Shall we praise the Lord again? Let everybody praise the Lord. The Lord has been good to us throughout these weeks of meeting and I'm quite certain that you that came from time to time had received a blessing from the Lord. And tonight is no exception. God is willing to bless us as long as we put our trust in him. Tonight, praise God, we thank the Lord for Bishop Baker and his team, along with the other members and ministers that come in to grace us with the presence of the Lord. And as we worship the Lord tonight, I'm quite certain that you will receive a blessing from the Lord. Thank the Lord for you that travel from afar, especially those from overseas that try to make it to this meeting. We bless the Lord for you, and we're quite certain you shall receive a blessing from the Lord. May God bless you tonight real good. We are coaching on the preacher's time, and we just want to have the message going as the Lord would bless us. God bless you real good. Back to Bishop Miller. Thank you very much, Bishop Keith Williams. And he's standing up tall. Despite the challenge, he's standing up. And we bless God for that. Somebody, somebody come with me. Somebody come with me. And so we are going to be blessed with the ministry of the King Jesus Choir. And that's Deep West. Help me make them welcome. And while they are coming, Pastor Clark, just shout a praise quickly. Hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. Help me make welcome to the visiting choir from Deep West, King Jesus Apostolic. Am I right? Yes. Go ahead. Come on, somebody give him a praise. Come on, open your mouth and praise him. Come on, worship the awesome God. Let's worship him. If you love him, just worship him. Come on, wave your hand. Let's worship the awesome God. He's worthy. We come to praise him. We come to praise him. Hallelujah. I said a country where no twilight shadows deepen and ending days no night shall never be a city where the storm never, never, never gather oh this is just 
what heaven means to me. Churches in a country where no twilight shadows deepens. An ending death, no night shall never be. A city where the storm never gathers. Oh, this is just what heaven means to me. Church a country where no twilight shadow deepens. And ending that's no night will never be. A city where the storm clouds never gather. Oh, Jesus, oh, this is just whatever means to me. What do we We are taking. 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 We are taking.
everyone to be in standing everyone kindly stand on your feet just want to thank and for clarity's sake King Jesus Pentecostal fellowship that's coming out of Sheffield under the leadership of our preacher for tonight Bishop Apostle Winston Baker is in the house. Put your hands together. Come on, put your hands together, everybody. Help me make welcome. Help me make welcome for the preacher tonight. Dynamic international stalwart he is. Radio preacher. Television savvy. And we are grateful for the media personnel that are here tonight, center stage, and in an angle fashion, the old timer, he's here covering so many platforms. Come on, put your hands together for our media personnel. Come on, do it a little better than that. We bless God as I make welcome to the podium. Bishop Winston Bacon, the Holy Ghost. God bless him as he comes. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Keep those hands clapping. Come on, open your mouth and give the Lord Jesus Christ a good praise in this house. He's worthy to be praised. Clap your hands and shabak. Clap your hands and give God a high praise. 
come on open your mouth and magnify the king of kings he's Yahweh come on praise him he which is which was and is to come Jehovah somebody give him a hand cup of praise tonight he's El Shaddai he's Elohim he's El Elon come on clap your hands and praise Yahshua he's Jesus Christus he's Jesus Christ of Nazareth somebody open your mouth and give him a high praise tonight when the praises goes up our deliverance will come down somebody open your mouth and shout one more praise in this house come on shout one more glory hallelujah come on somebody shout a glory hallelujah come on lift jesus higher tonight put the devil under some pressure open your mouth and give god you deserve higher shot yeah messiah somebody give the lord jesus christ of nazareth a good praise tonight he's worthy come on he's worthy to be praised there is none like him my god is a good god reach your neighbor and said neighbor my good neighbor glad to see you tonight you're at the right place at the right time for your miracle come on and smile and say hello neighbor my good neighbor glad to see you in 10 meeting tonight you're at the right place at the right time for your breakthrough clap your hands and celebrate the lord jesus christ for he's good and his mercies endure it forever come on somebody let me first take this privilege to greet the spirit of god who is lord of my life who pulled me out of nature's darkness and placed me in his marvelous light when men think there's nothing good in me jesus said i'm just getting ready to use you my child is there anybody in here have been there clap your hands and tell the lord jesus thank you and i reject like david man of, that is acquainted with grief and he know what sorrow is but god hold him come on clap your hands and tell the lord jesus thank you you have been there thank you i greet the holy angels tonight that were sent to this tent meeting by our lord jesus christ of nazareth they're on assignment tonight in and around this tent hallelujah how many know the angels of the lord encamp it how many know that the apostolic ministry is an angelic ministry so we greet the holy angels that are here tonight to do warfare i greet the most noble among us tonight in the person of bishop keith williams god bless you daddy god bless you sir and all these wonderful men of god bishop miller god bless you sir bishop Miller, God bless you and all God's wonderful people. God bless you, sir. God bless you, Bishop. God bless you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Prophet. The Lord Jesus is good. Amen. Somebody wave your hands. I greet the choir, beautiful choirs, and hallelujah, technicians and multimedia personnel and musicians and all of God's saints of the most high God. Visiting friends, I greet you in the holy name of Jesus Christ. Amen amen glory to god god is a good god man it wasn't easy it was a struggle to reach here today overseer god bless you Ella. god bless you sir god bless you hallelujah preached last night went in hallelujah up until like after nine so from last night went in and you know how it goes when god uses to the deliverance then you're gonna have to go back and pray off everything so i didn't start sleep until like after nine this morning uh, hallelujah i didn't wake up until like after six this evening uh, hallelujah come on somebody wave your hands and give the lord jesus a good praise tonight uh, hallelujah and so tonight i'm here uh, hallelujah 
to release a word from God. Anybody came for a word tonight? Now, hallelujah. A word is in the house. God is a good God and there is none like him. While you remain standing, please turn your Bibles with me to Numbers chapter 13, verse 21 to 24. Numbers. Numbers chapter 13. Glory to God. God is a good God. God is a good God. There is none like him. He is Lord. Yes, Jesus. Thank you. A hallelujah to God. Numbers chapter 13. When you're at verse 21, just say amen. A hallelujah to God. But, are you there? But as truly as I live, that's it? Hallelujah. God is a good God. There is none like him. Right. Let's go to Numbers 14. Since some, there's some misunderstanding in this text right here. Let's go to number 14. God is a good God. There is none like him. Hallelujah. Numbers chapter 14. Let's take it from verse Verse 7. Verse 6. Are you there? And Joshua son of Nun. And Caleb the son of Jephunneh. Which were of them that searched the land. Rent their clothes. And they spake unto all the company of the children of Israel saying. The land which we pass through to search it. It's an exceeding good land. If the Lord delight in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it us. A land which floweth with milk and honey. Only rebel not against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land. For they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them. And the Lord is with us. Somebody said the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Hallelujah to God. Please put down your Bibles. Take your holy hands and put it in the hand of the person next to you, please. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. God is a good God and there is none like him. Eternal God and our Father. Here we are tonight. We are out of the building. In direct obedience to your word. We should go out in the highways and in the hedges and bid them to come. Father, we thank you for your manservant that you have given this vision. Father, please, as we preach tonight, cover him. Touch his body, bring forth healing, Lord. Let your angels have free course tonight. Let them go from house to house. Let them go from nick to cranny. And let them deliver and set somebody free. While we are on this part of ground worshiping you, Lord, please send forth your angel. Save, deliver, heal, set somebody free tonight. 
Oh, your people are gathered here tonight because your spirit draw us together. Father, please, in the name of Jesus Christ, heal, deliver, save, touch your people tonight. Hallelujah to God. We look to you tonight because you are our only help. Arise, O oh Lord, and let all your enemies be scattered. Somebody clap your hands and praise the name of the Lord. He's good. And his mercies endure it forever. Somebody give God one more shout of praise tonight. Before you take your seat, I want to look at four people and tell them, the Lord is with us. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Just smile and say, Emmanuel, the Lord with us. Clap your hands and you may be seated for a while. God is a good God and there is none like him. We worship him because he is God. He deserves all our worship. He deserves all our praises. The church of the living God is experiencing a critical time in church history. We are at the end of the church age. Any day now, the trumpet can shout and the people of God is taken out of the earth. Hallelujah. God is calling for the church to stay focused. It is the hour when the church of the living God must keep their eyes on the prize. This is the hour when the church of God should experience the glory of the risen Christ. Before Jesus leave planet earth. Hallelujah. He said, I am the light of the world. And as long as I'm in the world, the light is in the world but I'm leaving and you shall be a city set upon a hill so let, so let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and are led to glorify your father which is in heaven it's the last days now when the church must shine we are living in a time when darkness is really dark. We are living in a time when there is gross darkness. And so we understand that darkness is just darkness. And uh, you can't blame darkness to be darkness. Because darkness is darkness. But then when the command said that the light must shine in darkness then the only blame is towards the light because only the light can make a change when the light shows up in darkness then darkness have to roll back the truth is the age the time we are living in John the Revelator call it the, Lo the Lo Lodician age. He call it the age when the church is a focus on material stuff. It's the time when the church of the living God is focusing on things they can see. But the church of the living God was placed on the earth to 
push back darkness. In Matthew chapter 16, Jesus declared verse 13 to 18, he declared that upon this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Why? Because hell wants to keep its gates shut. He wants to keep those who are inside, inside. So he tried to lock in those who he have in darkness. Hallelujah. He wants to make sure it remains shut. Hallelujah. Shut in and keep out those who have the power, the light to kick hell gates open and take your families, your loved ones, everything that hell hold captive. I stop by to tell the church of the living God that the church is not fighting no normal, ordinary demons. Hell know that we are in the last days. So hell call over her ranking spirits. And put them on assignment so you stay focused on the material. He will work you so much that you will spend no time in prayer. He will allow so much things to be in your life that you just can't fast. Hell is the big distractor. They will distract you from what God called you to do. I stop by to speak to the church of the living God because hell is doing everything to block you from manifesting the glory of the risen Christ. I come here with a word from God tonight. And he said, son, when you go over there, I want you to tell my people that when I pull Israel out of Egypt and Egypt was on the border of the land flowing with milk and honey, hell brought his last attack. I want you to understand as people of the most high God that hell realized that they can't stop you. So they will do everything to detour you. I want you to know as people of the most high God that the Old Testament is a shadow of the new. We all know that. Bible scholars, bishops, and elders, and uh, yeah, that the old covenant, the old testament, the Bible. So Jesus was in the old testament as much as he's in the new testament. But in the old testament, he was concealed. In the new testament, he's revealed. In the old testament, he's a shadow. But in the new testament, he's reality. Yes, and so when you go to the Old Testament, you got to go with the eyes of the Spirit. So you can see that the Old Testament is a type of the new. Yes, in the Old Testament, you use a lamb. But the lamb was just a type shadow of the lamb of god you're coming with me man in the old testament we have the exodus oh lord but the exodus was just a shadow of a great army coming out of egypt oh shire coming into the kingdom uh, let me take my time there because somebody needs to understand it. in the old testament egypt was just a shadow Pharaoh was just a shadow. We all know that. We're taking our time. Hallelujah. And Moses was just a shadow. So Pharaoh is a shadow of the devil. Egypt is a shadow of the world. The wilderness is a shadow of the church. And the promised land is a shadow of heaven. Come on, man. Let's have some church, man, please. 
let's take our time now please and so we see we see Moses a shadow of Christ and so Moses went in Christ came into the world and Moses delivered Christ come and set us free. You're coming with me, warriors. And so when you look on the book of Numbers and you look on the book of Exodus and Deuteronomy, we will see a shadowing of the church. And there are a shadow of things to come. So you can go back with the eyes of the spirit and see what the enemy did down there and look if he's doing the same thing up here because he's nothing but a copycat. Are you coming with me? The devil have no power. You know that. The devil borrow power. He's a barry my teeth, man. So he know how to tap into the power of God. So he use it. You know. Yes. Just as though you can't have false prophets. If there's no real prophet. The only reason why there is false prophets is because. Come on, man. Oh, Jesus. They, they can't. In the, just notice all the people that are work over They always have one little. Bible. Why? Because they have to use the word. If they not do that, them just can't. Why you think in the, the other man then kill goat? And kill. Come on, no man. Let's have some church. No man, where is the worship us, man? Come on, no man. You can't have an antichrist. If there's not a come on, no man. Where is the worship us in here? So 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 you go back and you look because he's just going to do the same thing in another way because he knows pretty well that he has no power over you so we see tonight the bible said that now israel oh god deliver them out of egypt and now they are in the wilderness touch your neighbor and say neighbor when god deliver you from sin the church is the wilderness. Oh Lord, it was easy. I told you in the grill that it was easier for God to take Israel out of Egypt than to take Egypt out of Israel. Oh Lord, it's easier for God to take you out of the world than to take the world out of you. Come on, man. Not some church. We are acting as if I'm in the Baptist. Come on, man. Hallelujah to God. Where is the warriors in here now? And so we see that when God take Israel out of Egypt and place them in the wilderness, the wilderness was the place of purging. Wilderness was the place of process. So when God take you out, God didn't give you the Holy Ghost to go to heaven. All right. Oh, tell anybody, no, Jesus didn't give you the Holy Ghost to go to heaven. When you go to heaven, you're not going to need the Holy Ghost. Where is the worshippers? Come on, man. I'm not touching some of your theology. But you get the Holy Ghost to live in earth. The Holy Ghost is given to you to defeat everything that come against you in earth. It's an imparted portion of God inside, resident in your spirit to push back every attack and to bring deliverance to your body, soul, and spirit. Come on, man. So you get the Holy Ghost to deal with everything in earth. And while you're here, the church, you are here and God is processing you. Where is the worshipers? So you got to allow God to process you. I call it the in-between. You see, anytime God calls you, he places you in the in-between. Uh, the wilderness is the in between uh, oh Jesus sometimes God call you and he will prophesy give you a word uh, like Joseph I show you Joseph look uh, the eleven stars the moon and the sun shall worship bow to you they shall give credence they shall realize that you are the head oh Lord and Joseph begin to dance uh, and he brag on his brothers you know tell all his daddy but guess what <laughs> God didn't show him the in-between. God showed Joseph, yes, Joseph, you are going to keep many alive. You're going to maintain life. But God didn't show him that. Your brothers are going to strip you off your robe. You're going to be thrown 
into a pit you're gonna be a slave oh lord they're gonna lie on you you're gonna end up in prison Oh, Shia, the in between, the in between, the in between. God will never show you the in between because in between is process. The problem in church, nobody likes the in between. The problem in church, nobody likes the process. They want to move from Egypt to promise. But touch your neighbor, say, No, it's not an easy sliding into glory, baby. Your best friend is going to turn against you when you are in process. Somebody's going to sell you out when you're in process. Where is the worshippers in process? JPS will disconnect your light. In process, the rent will do, and a piece of letter will slip under the door. Who am I talking to? In the process, you will lose your job. Your business will go bankrupt in the process. But touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, when you are in process don't worry God would not allow it if you can't handle it in process God will never give you more than you can bear in my God I feel the Holy Ghost a while ago somebody throw your head back and say process me daddy process me fix me use me oh Lord process is where God work on your spirit process is where the Holy Ghost have his way inside of you and take out some stuff that hell put inside of you because before you came to God hell makes some inroads and God have to unplug you and take out some stuff and so in the process Israel now they are now at chapter 14 remember chapter 11 I read it there last week chapter 11 we see how the mixed multitude stir up Israel and they begin to murmur when you are in the in between you got to be careful who you connect yourself with the mixed multitude will speak while you you got to be careful who you connect with because if you connect with a gossiper a gossiper you're gonna become in the in between if you connect with a tail bearer a tail bearer somebody says show me your company of oh, evil communication it mix up spirits so you got to be careful who you connect with if you connect with a prayer warrior then a prayer warrior you will become oh touch your neighbor say neighbor this is the season you got to be careful who you rub shoulder with because iron sharpened iron if you connect with board board and iron can't work because the boat will be destroyed if you use the iron on the board the iron get dull and the board come on is destroyed so touch a neighbor say neighbor if you realize they love chat people business wrong company if they are murmurers and complainers wrong company if they are tail bearers wrong company it's the home stretch and when you're on the home stretch you got to be very careful who am i preaching to for the bible said now israel have just sinned oh lord because chapter 11 the bible said that the mixed multitude that came with them out of egypt begin to whisper in israel ears we long for flesh I remember when I was in Egypt eating cucumber and garlic and get fish freely and the people of Israel now desire flesh and begin to cry in their tent and God heard it and God was grieved and the Bible said that the fame, the pain the, 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 the anger of God burned from the back of the tent and 
people began to die they went to Moses and Moses went to God and the plague stayed and God said to Moses Moses said to God they are complaining because they need flesh to eat watch this now that chapter 11 is chapter 14 they're gonna enter the promised land so the thing that they're longing for flesh I mean huge bullocks and sheep and everything is over in the promised land it's just three chapters away the devil realized that Israel was on the home stretch so what the devil does is get into some people to point out what you don't got you got to be careful now can you reach your neighbor for the second time and say neighbor we're on the home stretch be careful of the words that comes out of your mouth in this season it can block you from going over you're coming with me the bible said that they were murmuring and god heard it you see life and death is in the power of your tongue come on reach your neighbor say neighbor jesus said a man have to give an account for every idle words so if you're gonna have to answer to every joke when you complain in god's ear what do you think is happening oh lord and the bible said they murmured and god said come here moses get me 70 elders let me take your spirit and put it on them we need more elders who have the right spirit a spirit of worship and praise a spirit of boldness a spirit come on warriors a spirit that connect with the bishop who am i talking to Ooh, Shanda. we don't need no elders with spirit that going against your bishop that's talking your bishop murmuring against your bishop we don't need that now we need some people who have the right spirit motivators who am I talking to encouragers reach to somebody and tell them if you're not going to give me a word of encouragement leave me alone don't set me up against my leaders who am I preaching to don't point no finger. Don't point out no fault. I don't want to hear it. Pray for the leaders. Who am I talking to? And anything you don't have, give God some praise. Uh -huh. Come on, warriors. If you take taxi to church, give God some praise. If you live in a rent house, give God. It's going a little bit flat. I'm going in tonight. Come on, somebody. And the Bible said they were complaining. And God heard it. And God was grief. This is what blows my mind. No, they didn't. They weren't liars. Mm -mm. They were not thief. Oh, shia. You see, they, they were not fornicating, not committing adultery. But this sin is so great in God's ear, in God's eye, that God said, You can't go in. God said, You're going to die in the wilderness. Oh, Lord, where is the worshiper? Slap your neighbor, say, Bishop is not in line, right? And Bishop now said thief right. And Bishop now said idolatry and adultery and fornication and masturbation right. The whole of them are sin and the whole of them are hell. But get my message tonight. God said to tell you your tongue, your tongue, your tongue, your tongue. Whatever word you use, it's either connecting you to heaven or bringing you into bondage. As a child of God, you're on the home stretch. You got to be careful and stop murmuring God ears listen Israel now I remember what I used to have when I'm in the world 
I remember that I used to eat anything me want. I me go visit anywhere me want go. I me live lavish. I me live big. I know me a child. I got nothing now going for me. And God says something wrong with you. You don't even know the God who you serve. If God choose to bless you big, no dopey can stop it. And if God choose to raise you up, no witch can block it. So why don't you give God thanks for what he provides for you? If I think Mark will bless it and praise God. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of tight over St. Elizabeth tonight. But I'm a cutting edge preacher. You can block me. You squeeze up your big toe a little bit. Your shoes bursting out tonight. You never hire me so you can block me from preaching. I come here to preach to the people of God. Come on, warriors. Pull your neighbors. I'm going over. And you can't block me. I'm going over. And you can't stop me. Don't bring no murmuring spirit. Get rid of the gossip spirit. I don't want to hear you with your ungrateful spirit. Your unthankful spirit. Sit down. Where is the worshippers? Don't come to me. Don't call myself one. If you don't have something good to say, stop chat church people. Stop tear of church people. Stop bring them church people. I feel the Holy Ghost. Where are the warriors in here? Throw your head back. Open your mouth. And say, man, your home stretch. And no devil ain't gonna stop me from going over. You might look at me funny. You might see me as a nothing. But I have a word. Come on, tell the neighbor, I don't care how you look at me. You might see me as nothing in the church. I can't change shoes like you. I can't wear a satellite hat like you. I don't have the three-piece suit like you. But I have news for you. I'm giving God thanks with me one punch. I'm praising God with me one cap. Who am I preaching to? Come on. Take two minutes and tell somebody little is much. When God is in it, it's kind of flat. Too tight, me a hold it. Tell somebody, me a hold it. Me a hold it. No food in the fridge, but I'm holding it. Who am I talking to? No money in the bank, but I'm holding it. You better throw your head back, open your mouth. The race is not for the swift, neither is the battle for the strong. It's for those who can hold it. It's for those. Who can suffer with him? It's for the Lord. Open your mouth. Somebody hear me now. Now we see the Bible said that Israel is murmuring and Israel don't realize that is just three chapters down the line and you're going to get everything you need. If you hold on just a little bit more, you're going to see houses you didn't build. You're going to receive vineyards you didn't plant. So don't let these chatterbox corrupt your spirit. Don't let the mixed multitude block you from going in. God get grief and God said God kill off all of them. They're not coming with me. And God said, I'm going to destroy all of them. Hallelujah. And he said, Moses, get me 70, 70 elders, 70 officers. And let me take your spirit and put it on them so that they can prophesy to the mixed multitude. Prophesy. That means the elders should be the ones who is encouraging the people of God to wait. Who am I talking to? They are the ones the mothers in Zion should pull the young convert and say, wait on God. For they that wait, put your hand on your belly and say, wait here by the river, Lord, until you come. No food in the fridge. 
but I'm waiting for on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the ground is sinking sand when peace like a river upon my way when sorrows like sea billows roll whatever my lot that was taught me to say open your mouth it is well no money in the bank but it is well children giving trouble but it is well I'm waiting David said wait I say on the Lord and he shall be of good cheer wait I just said they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles they shall run and not be weary they shall walk me not backslide me not give up me not throw in the towel me not put no rope on my neck come on warriors me a whip on my train Job said my appointed time I'm going until my change comment because I know who's the giver. I know who's the giver. The Lord give it and the Lord take it. So may I bless him till he come true. May I worship till he come true. May I lift him up. Somebody open your mouth. Throw your head back. Shout! Now Israel. Israel grieve God God said I want to send a message to Israel God said Moses I'm going to give them what they want I'm going to give them the flesh that they are asking for I have the flesh waiting on them but because of their murmuring yes. and their murmuring is sending me a message that they don't know the God they serve whenever you murmur and complain you are saying you don't know God for yourself he said I'm going to give them flesh I'm going to give them not one day Moses said you're going to give them two days God said, no, I'm not going to give them. He said, you're giving them one month of flesh. Hallelujah. God said, no, I'm not giving them one month. No, I'm not giving you one week. No. He said, you're giving, you're giving them 10 days of meat. No. And God said, no, I'm giving them one month of meat. And God said, I'm giving them so much that it shall come through their nostrils. Ah. I'm standing flat foot and box tonight because God says stop crying my ears stop ball feet stop murmur and complain for it because if you push God's hand I'll show your nostril it become it, God said, I can give them till it become insipid. He showed me then that you can see somebody with care in a church. Yes, sir. And because them have care, you start murmur, say you want care. And God said, All right, sit down and be yourself and wait for me. Sit there. And the same care meet in an accident and lick off one of your foot. Come on, it's kind of a little bit flat. Touch your neighbor, say it's, it's, it's Numbers chapter 11. Read it when I go home. God give them, it wasn't their time. Reach your neighbor, say, wait. And your time. Where is the worship? As it's kind of flat. No, Lord, no, 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 Lord, I want that husband. And God says, it's not your time yet, man. 
Stop watch who married when they were 15 and 17 and 20. God, me want that one. And you ball and fast and curse all God. And God said, I already seem to take him. All of a sudden, you come to church with dark glass in the night. Come on, worship by this kind of flat. You're not coming with me. Where is the worshipers? All of a sudden, two weeks pass and you're not in church. And somebody said, Where are you? Don't come to church. I don't feel so good this week. Because you were the punching bag last week. Where is the worshipers in here? But reach your neighbor, say, Neighbor, I love God so much. If it is not God will, I don't want it. Who am I talking to? I'm waiting on my time. I'm going in tonight in our five more minutes and we're gone in. Where is the worship? I slap your neighbor, say, Neighbor, the devil have a plan, you know. When him see a reach on the borderline, I know a time for you to step over in your glory, a time for the breakthrough, a time for the manifestation of the ministry, a time for your gifts manifest, a time the enemy now start to push certain things in your ears so you start to murmur and complain you start looking over the fence and start to look what that one have and look what that have. and you keep your eyes off the price and you focusing on what you don't have hallelujah to god and god is grieved with you because god have a time oh slap your neighbor say neighbor there's a set time for what God has in store for you. He's preparing you for it. So wait until your season come. Oh Lord, every time I read this text. Oh Lord, I want to understand this text. It changed my whole life. He said to everything. There is a season. Who am I preaching to? So if you are lonely. You will not lonely. Won't be lonely forever. Mm, it's just for. Uh, and if you are broke, you ain't gonna be broke forever. It's only a season. Nothing lasts forever. To everything, it have its season. So I'm waiting on my season. Who am I preaching to? It's ten people in here. Come to God, and it seems like it's long. It seems like the hills are hard to climb. God sent me to tell you, just wait on your season. And while you're waiting, do it like David. I wait patiently for the Lord. And he brought me, and he inclined unto me, and heard my cry to incline me to turn aside or to come down. So David said, I waited on the Lord. And he turned aside. He came down, and he heard my cry. So in other words, while David was waiting, David was doing something. Something. What you think David was doing while he was waiting? He was singing love songs to daddy while he was waiting. He was sending up kisses while he was waiting. He was saying, I bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us worry us. And let us warriors, 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 throw your head back, no man. I have a role for you. And so now Israel grieve God, and God gave them what they want. But the blessing was a curse. Oh Jesus, I want this to be connected. I want you to connect with this one. Take your right hand and slip it in the hand of the person next to you and shake that hand and say, Neighbor, neighbor, my good neighbor, God sent you to 10 tonight for you to hear this. A blessing that comes before its time is a curse. 
you're not coming with me you don't get it in the man I say squeeze it in the person right now I just shake it in the person right now and see a blessing before it's time it's a curse and if you don't believe me go ask the prodigal son and he will tell you him forcing daddy hand him take a blessing before time him never mature enough for the blessing and him waste it in righteous living who am I preaching to you better jack your name and say Lord this is my prayer if I'm not ready for it hold it and fix me first who am I talking to it's kind of flat I don't know about you but I have to go over I'm not dying in no wilderness where is the worshipers in here? I need 10 people in here, you know. I need only 10 with me tonight, you know. Me come have a chop down everything, you know. No demon now walk up and down St. Elizabeth. I'm over here, you know. I blow. Run me a mouth and show the blood of Jesus Christ. Come on. And so now we see that Israel experience a blessing from God before it's time and it's coming through their nostril. Oh Lord, I'm going to live about you. Come on, come on. Slow down the camp. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of a little bit tight. Now watch me. The Bible said that now we see Israel. Israel now is at the border. They just get the testimony. Moses said, Lord. You really are giving one month of meat. <laughs> Moses said, if we kill all the flocks and all the herds, we cannot because of 600 footmen. Right. Bible scholars will tell us there's over 2.8 million. Just imagine. Look how the crowd look thick. And it's about 600 or 700 of us under here. And look how the crowd look thick. Yes, Just imagine that see a crowd with 2.78 million. How much meat? You, re, him say, you mean you are going to take out all of the fishes out of the sea? And God said, wait till tomorrow morning. Go on to your bed. Go to your bed. He said, you think my hand shot? You better touch two people and tell them you better know daddy. You think he hand shot? You think if God won't bless your big non dope, he can't stop it? Who am I preaching to go ask Bishop Baker? And you me tell us and go in bed tonight and wake up tomorrow and get Porsche. Porsche. You don't hear me, no man. Where is the worshippers in here? You don't hear me, no? Yes, you me tell us that God built one six bedroom house yes, sir. in a pandemic. Like when I ten somebody are going, I come to church. And when they might get them are get, um curfew hours. Yes, you don't hear me? Yes, God built me one six bedroom house while that I go on. To go out of bed, wake up in the morning when we look. I chop there to do gate. Yes, sir. How much hundred cement? That's right. How much ton of steel? How much? I want to know who send me can know. Where is the worshippers in here? Because God sent the angel can't do it. Don't look at me like that. I think only in the Abraham time God do that. Where is the worshippers? I know we can't know who buy them cement. I know we can't know who buy them black. They hope me get one thousand black. I mean, I know who. You better reach your neighbor. Say, neighbor, God will bless you big if you're ready. I know dope you can't stop God blessing. Who am I talking to? It's kind of flat, too tight. Throw your head back, man. And handle your business. Tell two people, handle your business. You don't need to know how I got to go, how God I got to bless you. And who am I going to use and bless you? That's not your business. Don't dictate to God. All you need to do is handle your business. I praise you. You bless me. I send up the blessing. I send up the praise. Blessing. Where are the worshippers? It's kind of a little bit too tight. Where is the worshipper? Too flat. Open your mouth and shout again. Come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. Come on, warriors. I'm about to close this thing. And now we see the Bible said that God shamed them with him blessing. God was sending them a message. 
the message was I can do anything I choose. Anything. I can be, if you if you not find no man for bless you, yes. I will find a crow. Yes. And if me search, I may not find no man. Me find one jackass. Yes. And if me not find no man, me find stick and stone. Yes. But my will must be done. So all you need to do is just handle your business. Wake up in the morning and say, God, me thank you, me no sugar. Mm, Jesus. <laughs> Lord, me thank you, me no flow when I cover. I know everybody can say that because not everyone we have covered. Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers? After my we are boom, and we have. Where is the worshippers? You don't look at me like that. St. Elizabeth, me there. Where is the warrior? We have boom, boom, pan. Where is the believers in the sorry? If I'm not crossing the teeth and that in the eyes, I'm not in UK, baby. This is senti. So slap your neighbor, say neighbor, bishop, a chat, hard chat. So stop ask to. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of a little bit flat. Come on now, they're at the border and God is ready to give them give them what he promises for fathers. I wish somebody in this house can believe that God has something in store for you tonight. Say, so God, I go bless you tonight. Where is the warriors in here? Where is the worshippers in here? Where are the believers in here that believe when God get ready, nothing can stop it? Who am I preaching to? When God get ready to lift you up, you show me, tell me who can pull you down. If you think him bad, make him come now. For who God bless. Bring Nebuchadnezzar, come let me see him. All right, go from Biden, President Biden, and bring him over here. Let me see if his hand is long enough to box with my daddy. Who am I preaching to? Who wants to wish man from Clarendon, Portland, Westmoreland? All right, let me go at 80, 90. Or 70. I'm bringing come down here. Let me see if one of them can touch one wow, holy ghost feel fire baptized Jesus name. Who am I talking to? All hands are off. For if God be with us, then tell me now, Lord of mercy. Who am I preaching to? Apostolic. Apostolics, are you here? Apostolics, are you here? Apostolics are demon tracer. Apostolics carry something heavy. We are down in the belly. That no witch can black. No generation of curse can no cancer no heart attack no high blood pressure no diabetes no kidney failure can black a holy ghost fill fire baptized jesus name say something warriors i've got a few more minutes open your mouth and shabbat the king now they are at the border I got a one final test. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor, be careful of the test. When the test come, and where you go, say I go determine what you believe. Come on, tell anybody final test. What God promised you is God able to give it to you. Where is the worshippers? Where is the warriors? I was in Kingston Sunday in the day, and I was preaching, you know. And a bad pastor, man, bad preacher. There's some bad preacher right there. Some bad preacher. And the man was at the front sitting, and his wife next to him. And every time I preach and walk past me, you know what, Gwan? The pastor that stand up here, and his wife beside him. They married for a good while. You're not hearing me. Yes, and him try to get pregnant. Uh, and nothing now go on. Uh, and the pastor come to church. Yeah. And I don't know me just preach and take my rag. And just bring it and say, this is for your wife. Take it for your baby. She will get pregnant. Put it on her belly. Yes, 
You're not coming with me. The next time I see the preacher, I him and his wife stand up. But when we walk past the wife, me now hear one heartbeat. Where are the real Christians in here? You better drag your neighbor and say, God make whom you know. And if God won't put baby in it, you tell me who can block you from oh, Jesus. Where is the warriors in here, man? It's kind of flat too tight. You, know? you better throw your head back and shout when God get ready. You tell me who. Open your mouth in here. Shout a glory, hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout one more praise. So God's a final test. Choose 12. This is what blow my mind in a preacher. If him say choose 12 from each tribe. That means that one of those, each from each tribe, have to be one of the 70 elders. You're choosing 12 chief. But remember, you just choose 12. So them 12, they were supposed to be encouragers. Them 12, they see the mighty move of God a few days ago. And now God said, go on in the land. Spy out the land. And bring report. Where is the worshippers in here? You better say something in here in the man. Lord Jesus, the man them go and spy out the land for 40 days. Oh Jesus, remember it's supposed to be 40 days from yeah. Egypt to that's how some Bible scholars put it. To to the promised land. And God said, All right, 40 days. When I reach upon the 40th day, all right, now here what you do. I want you to go in the land. Bring back some report. Oh, shy out in do you have a report tonight? Huh? Some of you, a pastor, you couldn't want some arson. Come on, it's the truth, man. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, you're supposed to bring some good report. And t- you know, say, overseer, come here, because I know you hold up, Bishop, and, and thank you, please. You know what my prayer was last night when I was coming up here? Me I said, God, please make Bishop put your hand for me. I want, you know what I want? You see that anointing for do this? I want Bishop to drop it on me. Where is the worship? This guy in a flat, too tight, man. You're not coming with me. I get, let me forget from Bishop Evans already. Because you know? Bishop Evans and Bishop Nepal visit me. And two of them put on their mantle. Take this. Take this. So I get a mantle from Bishop yes, Nepal. I'm going to get a manker from Bishop Evans. Bishop Williams, I would love you to throw this one for me, Daddy. Please. Where is the worshippers in here? Where is the warriors in here? So I can move it from a centimeter. Just cover the 14 parish. Drive out the witch them. Where is the warriors? And let Jamaica know the apostolic church of the keys. Where is the warriors in here? Up me a mouth, man. Up me a mouth. Up me a mouth. I got the truck already, you know. Yes, sir, I'm going to put the system on it. Yes, and Bishop, you see the, the box that I'm going to put on it? Name Line Array. Oh, that means that them box, they are one mile, they're my blast, right? Yeah. Come on, no warriors, man. Say something. I'm going to put no mediocrity on it. I'm going to deal with elite, the best. If Stone Love don't have best, Mighty God, man. I double them I have it for. Don't look at me like that is the truth. If BS had this, he can't have best. Come on, man. The king picked them. Come on, the warriors. It's kind of flat, man. Too tight. When I drive in, you know, some of them I look and say, what kind of bridge I drive that the big vehicle? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll show you no know, Abraham. If my grandfather Abraham the driver on here tonight, you see. All right, don't look at me like that. Yeah, yeah. No. Then vex me, you see. Where is the worshiper? Say something, man. I come here with a word. A year season. I you know, thought somebody tell my year season. And and everything lock up in your tongue, you know. In your mouth, everything there. And I should show you tonight. In your mouth, everything there. 
where is the worshippers in here it's kind of a little bit too tight come on too flat man he said get get me 70 elders and the 70 elders said take out 12 out of them and send them in the land let them spy out the land and come back to the congregation oh lord jesus they went out they came back in and they begin to give report and them start to man the grapes man the skyscraper they high where is the worshipers man a food galore man the whole seal them back where is the worshipers in here if you ever go to the supermarket oh shia my 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 himself if you ever go to them car marts mm, some camel white horse don't look at me like that you're in church uh -huh. we see it over there but guess what some giant over there oh shia basa and we coming like a grass supper in a dear sight and who tell them that they must say we coming like grasshopper in their sight so they might talk for the enemy but Rehab said something different Rehab said when we, we hear about your God how we in defeat God how we pull down the Amalekites how we fight for you and go before you as a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of clouds by we heard and the moment we hear no strength no man have one more strength in them everybody get weak and we know say your god who dwells in heaven has given you this land and that the enemy are saying uh, the enemy knows that god bad you know? and the enemy knows that god have your blessing in store you know? but the enemy get you to speak the opposite over your own life you know? the enemy get you to call yourself grasshopper where is the worship of this guy in a two sides? Come on in here. And so now the Bible said that they release an evil report. And God called it a slander. When you have time, you go look up the word devil or Satan. The word Satan comes from a, a, a root which means slander to slander. So he's the slanderer. So it was the devil who get them to discourage themselves and the elders who should be the one to encourage Israel. They are the ones bringing the evil report. Who tell you you're going to die? Who tell you cancer get you out? There is a worshippers in here, man. Where are the real apostolics in here? Now, Israel got discouraged because 10 spies bring up an evil report. And now God begin to speak. And God said, but as, but as truly as I live, all the earth shall be filled with my glory. I don't know about you, you know, but my life spells the glory of God. Touch your neighbor, say, God won't fill your life with his glory. God promised that the whole earth shall be filled with his glory because all these men which have seen my glory are the miracles them gotta call the glory you know all these men who see the different signs and wonders who them just see god give them one month of meat shire so them see the glory of god and know them on the border oh shire you're the bunny border you're breakthrough 
God about to bring it to pass. And you start murmuring at God's face. And God says, if you do that, you have to turn back. And you have to go around in a circle one more year. Mm. Because those men which have seen my glory and my miracles which I did in the wilderness and have tempt me now these ten times and I have not and, ha and, have, and have not hearkened to my voice where is the worshippers come on surely they shall not see the land which I swear unto their fathers neither shall any of them that provoke me. See it. If you provoke God. You are black. Your own blessing. You are sabotage yourself. Who am I preaching to? But. Oh shy. I'm just reaching out my message now please. Touch your neighbor say but. Come on a man. But. Uh, for my servant. Caleb. Oh, I wonder if there's any Caleb in here tonight. <laughs> Caleb still the people and said mm, we are well able. I don't know about you, you know, man. You better touch your neighbor say neighbor under your 24 hours. I go get a breakthrough there. I know and your 8 hours, 12 hours work. I know your 9 to 5. I go get a dream house there. Who am I preaching to? I say, I know your 9 to 5. 9 to 5. I give you that breakthrough there. So focus on the one who is well able to give you the breakthrough. Who am I preaching to? But for my servant Caleb because he had another spirit with him oh Jesus is there anybody in here boy I mean I have the same spirit with them have you now I mean I have the discouraging spirit there you know? I mean I have the murmuring spirit there you know? I mean I have the spirit that will chat people you know let the spirit of a tear down one another, you know, man. When a God in house, nobody in the family can become a Christian, you know. And you ask, why nobody in your why, why, why nobody in your house and a Christian? And and and, them, and you say, what? No, no, no. Why? Because the things that we are talking about, your church people, them when you have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, they report where you carry, where you tear up your church sister, them. And tear up your church, brother them. And tear up the leader them in the church. Your aunts you have said, aunts your relatives have been out of the church. I'll be a hypocrite down there. Me not go to the church, I'll be a fight, they fight them one another. You block your own relatives from becoming saved. Who am I preaching to? But somebody is in the business, in the building, that have another spirit. Is there anybody in here come with another spirit? Oh Lord. God can testify of you if you don't have good for talk. You don't say nothing. Who am I talking to? Come on, he said, but my servant Caleb, because he had another spirit with him. Oh, and he had followed me fully. Him will I bring into the land that they went and searched. Who am I talking to? Is there 10 people in here can say, I don't know about you. I'm going over. I don't know about you. I am going to read the promise that God have for me. What blows my mind. I wonder what kind of spirit was that. That Caleb have. That God has to testify about. I begin to dig up Caleb now. And I begin to ask. Who is this Caleb? Why God to testify about him? Why God to talk? Caleb half go in. And Caleb children half go in. Oh, Shia, I look up Caleb. It's a Hebrew that means dog. You're not coming with me now. Where is the worshippers? Come on, man. The word Caleb means dog. So Caleb have a dog spirit. 
Lord Jesus. I want you to ask the bishop. <laughs> and let me say, the Bible, so ask the Bible. <laughs> Caleb mean dog. There's something about dog. Dog don't have time, I murmur. I don't want no, me don't want no mackerel that steaks me want. I don't want no bone flesh me want. Where is the worshippers in here? It's kind of flat now. I wonder if I can find 10 real Christians in here tonight that come for a word from God. Anybody come to hear something from the Lord Jesus Christ tonight? And tell the neighbor, look on me good. I know how to give God praise for little. Who am I talking to? Come on, there's something about dog. The word here means to be bold. Come on, it means to be brave. It means wholeheartedly. So you see, if you have dog in your yard, you see, as long as you feed the dog, you see, when you go home tonight, Lord of mercy, you never call dog by name, you know. By the time I burst my gate tonight, when you look at champion, a run come, a brilliant a run come, and then a fan then kill, and a Oh, Jesus, where is the worshippers in here? Come on, warriors, I need some I need some people with some God mentality, you know. Where is the worshippers? It's kind of flat, you know, man, because somebody's still not coming yet. Let me take my time, please. Where is the worshippers? And the Bible said, can I go in, please? Somebody came, somebody said, Caleb. Somebody said, Caleb. Come on, somebody say Caleb. We need more Caleb spirit in the church. Some people were bold and brave. Some people were say anything God promised me. Me sure say me I get it. But there's a wait on my season. No devil can stop me. And when a church time, nobody can block me. True curfew, me still I come at church. Gunman the panel and that can block me from come at church. I don't care where grand on them I call at church. I don't care who I fight me down a church. I don't care who I chat me down a church. I don't care who I about bite me down a church. Me I go at church. Me I go eat me food at church. Who am I preaching to? It's kind of flat too tight. A little bit too tight. And behold a woman of Cain and came out of the same course crying and saying unto him, saying have mercy upon me O Lord son of David my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil but he answered her not a word tell somebody I need a spirit like that a push up spirit Try people too easy for me to give up, man. Somebody look on them bad and them backslide. Come on, man, we need some killer in the church. Who am I talking to? I was coming in, I was coming in, a bishop. I was coming to 10 meeting. I miss some members. I miss them members I want. Right at Alan Bamboo. We saw some members. I saw some members like this you want. You know who I talk? So go and you call them across the road. You think they're filming here again? Stop it, go them from across the road. You're crazy. You think no trailer can stop them? Trailer better break up. You better touch your neighbor. We need some Caleb spirit in the church. No care who about bite them. You can't pop me. Who am I preaching to? Me not give up. Me not. Where is the real Christians in here? You better open your mouth. We live in a time now. Bishop, we live in a time now that. The apostolic them are jump shippers. Then just skip from church to church. Then come over the church and you preach something. They don't like it. Then take up the attache case and take up the handbag and say, Yeah, true word and gone to one next church. Well, tell the neighbor we need some real Caleb. Some Caleb say, Who? Me come here to take it. I mean, now I'm going left it. Me come here to take it. I don't care if you want to shame me look more. Me now I'm backslide. Me now I'm jump ship. Who am I preaching to? Come on, warriors. The Bible said the woman was pushing upon Jesus. Come on, she said, my daughter is grievously vexed 
with a devil but he answered her not a word when you have a Caleb spirit or when you pray and not get no answer you're not giving up you know? you're not backsliding you know? you're not jump sipping you know? Man, or kill it, man. Pull your neighbor, say we need more kill in the house. We need more kill in the house. When you are praying, you're not getting no answer. That can't stop it from prayer. Come on, that not stop it from worship. Who am I talking to? You better throw your head back. God answer it, her. Not a word. Then when you look, the disciples come. And begin to say to Jesus, send her away because she cried after us. Oh, Shia, what a spirit. What a spirit. You bow to God and I get no help. Then you go to the disciples, the apostles, they are the ones that should lead you to Christ. Then run you and then I tell a pure bad prayer for you. Oh, touch your neighbor and say, stop playing bad prayer. Your bad prayer can't stop me. Where is the warriors in here? Some of them want God to kill people, you know. And some of them God want to hurt, they want God to hurt people. No, them I can't tell God to send her away. You're rude, man. You're rude, man. God, I want you broke up in your foot. One preacher said, God, I want you crippled up in your hand. Bad prayer, yeah, I pray, you know. Send her away. Where is the worshippers? Come on. Because she besought us after us. Because who man Because who tell her neighbor say help me want to Nobody thinks I may come to church to go and show clothes. Oh tell her neighbor, I don't come to church to show off. I need help. I have a need. So why you are push me away, so and I pray about prayer for me. What a good thing say. Me a Caleb. Where is the worshippers? Where you can't push me out with your bad prayer. Come on, no man. And everybody are reaping, you know. A Caleb and Joshua alone are reaping, you know. So come on, man. Me come to speak to Caleb and Joshua tonight. Come on, send her away. For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. My God, God said, Me come for the elite. Now. Me come for Abraham's seed. Now. And you, a dog. <laughs> Where is the worshippers? <laughs> Caleb, where you the man? Come on, Caleb, man. I've come to talk to you, Caleb. Come on, man. I'm sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. <laughs> when she hear that, <laughs> she says to me, that can't stop me. Can I find ten warriors in here and nobody can shut out a church? Your family member then can't discourage you till you stop coming to church. There is the worshippers in here, man. Your co workers, they can't dis distract you from church. You love church too much that even the bishop can run you out of church. There is the warriors, man. It's kind of too tight, you know. A little bit too flat, you know, man. And now for Jesus, I know you may come to. <laughs> me not come to Gentiles. <laughs> me come to Israel. Where is the believers? Are you here? <laughs> when the lady hear that, guess what she do? The Bible said when she heard that, instead of walking away, she drew closer. And she began to worship him. Saying, Lord, help me. What blows my mind with this, you know, the apostles were there, you know, and none, at this point, none of the apostles called Jesus Lord. But this woman with the dog spirit, Start worship and start Lord of Jesus before one apostle. You better understand. There are some people will come out of the gutter. There are some people will come out. Of. Yes, when they come, you think you can block them? 
you think with your stiff and staunch and educated self, Santa Monos can black them? Where is the worshiper? Not even God can do that. I tell the neighbor, I said, God can't nah, do that. That's why he can't do it because he's not doing that. That's not his nature. Him with us. Anytime you worship and you don't feel the anointing the way you used to feel it, it means he wants you to push up on him some more. Come on, a warriors, man. It's kind of a little bit. Him just withdraw him, the awareness of him present, so that you can push in. So when Jesus said, Tell the woman, say, Oi, I'm going to send to you, you know, man, you're a dog. I'm going to send to dog. Yeah, Jesus has said that we make fish, just push up on him some more. And the Bible said she just turn around and just start worship lord have mercy on me lord help me but he answered and said unto her somebody said testing he might test you again you ask it and you don't get your test you plead and you don't get your fast and you don't get your prayer you don't get it a test oh lord he answered and said unto her it is not me somebody said good to take the children's bread and give it to kill Caleb. Come on, no man, where is the worship? <laughs> Come on, tell the neighbor, Caleb, a dog, a him me attack. Come on, no warriors, touch your neighbor, say, me, Bishop, attack. Come on. It was not easy for me to get my breakthrough, baby. You walk in and slide into it, but me have a ball, forget it. Who am I talking to? Me have a push up, forget it. Oh, Lord, where are the warriors in here, man? When I came to church, I was wrapped up, tied up, tangled up. I came to church one night. My heart was not right, but something got a hold of me. I'm coming in. Somebody drag your neighbor, say, neighbor, Jesus says, not good for me to take the children bread and give it to dogs. So Jesus was calling the woman dog. But hear how she respond to an insult like that. Shia Messiah. Come on, she said, true Lord. She not stop Lord him up. Because Lord mean owner and master. When you say Lord, is it the Greek the Hebrew word Adonai, which means master, creator, or the owner. So every time she said Lord, she said, You are my creator. Every time she said Lord, she said, I belong to you. So when Jesus said Minangi, the children's bread to dog. She just bottled out her worship. She just troops so hallelujah. And just said, True Lord, come on, somebody. True Lord. True Lord. Yet the dogs eat the crumbs which fell from the master's table. Lord, I don't know about you, no man, but me, me a dog. Call me where you want to call me. If you want to know me history, read the new book. And you know, say, I, me, I come from far. That's why no church people can't write me off. Because of far me I come from. No church people can't block me because of far me I come from. Me, I come from out of the gutter most. Me coming like a dog coming to church. When me coming to church, me coming to church with rugged and tough and all kind of thing. And nobody couldn't block me from worship. Where is the worshipers? When me baptize in Jesus' name. They scorn me. They think no good could come out of me. You're not hearing me when me fill with the Holy Ghost. Uh, them see me and look a be a boy. Who am I talking to? But them never call me. Where are the Christians? Are you in church? Come on, where is the Caleb? The woman said, True Lord. But the dog eat the crumbs that fell from the master's table. In other words, children and dog. Have you seen him, daddy? Somebody says, see him owner. A one man own everybody. So the, 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 the master who is responsible for the children is the same one responsible for the dog. Who am I talking to? It's kind of a little bit flat here. But reach your neighbor and your neighbor. Jesus says to the woman, Oh woman, great is thy faith be 
it even unto you as you will in other words Jesus said anytime I see this kind of fear a shift out of all barriers racial barriers you better reach your neighbor say God will step over all kind of barriers to find somebody that is really hungry for a move from God who am I preaching to it's kind of a little bit flat Caleb have a dog mentality Caleb said God anything you say is mine I am going to take it and know that you can do all things you are the healer you are the provider you are the way maker and then Anything you tell me you're gonna do, I believe it. He still the crowd and said to them, We are well able because the Lord is with us. And as long as God is with us, everything is possible. Somebody throw your head back, open your mouth. Take two minutes and shout a high praise. Open your mouth. Give him one more praise. There's a last day's army. There's a last day's army. And it is called the Joshua generation. It is mixed with two. Caleb on one side and Joshua on the other side. Who am I preaching to? Joshua carry the sword and kill about the dark spirit are you coming with me or can i bring out the dark spirit please for joshua have the sword what did caleb have shanda messiah i said joshua have the sword can i show you what 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 caleb have huh the enemy came up against israel oh lord the amalekites have Israel on the run and God said I need me a man he fine where are the warriors in here Zerubbabel somebody call him Gideon he find Gideon and said Gideon I'm going to use you to raise up an army to defeat the Amalekites are you coming with me and God says to him I want you to choose me some men he got 32,000 and he said no 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 that's more than the number he pulled it down to 10,000 and God said the number is too much he said bring them to the brook who am I preaching to it's kind of a little bit too tight and select men who lap like a dog and they are the ones I'm gonna use to bring deliverance in these last and closing days who am I talking to somebody say them that lap like a dog who am I talking to anybody know how dog, how dog lap what dog used to lap dog you still up where is the worshippers so one said have sword and all one half and tongue oh shia one half some words anytime they release it hell back up where is the worshippers where is the warriors them will lap like a dog I know some of you don't get it all now and next week some of you will get it you know. but there's an army we gotta rise up them a watchman you know them a watchman where is the worshippers tell the neighbor say me watch me a watchman becoming like a watchdog anytime somebody walk in a pentecost me scan them from them head to them door where is the worshippers in here you better throw your head back Open your mouth, an army is raising up right here in St. Elizabeth and they carry the power of the Holy Ghost to pull down, to pluck up 
to destroy who am I preaching to you better throw your head back get ready cut open your mouth shout one more praise shout one more shout shout one more glory shout a glory hallelujah arise 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 sons of God arise it's your time to pull down everything I promise is over you I'm gonna give you houses you didn't build vineyards you didn't plant a land flowing with milk and with honey who am I talking to there is a set come on they are under attack but they're not gonna lay down and play dead who am I preaching to this set is under attack come on touch your neighbor say neighbor we are under attack the church is under attack prayer warriors are under attack the kingdom of God suffered violence but come on kill them the violence take it by force can I find 10 person that come here to take it you might look on me funny but me come here to lap like that I don't know about you me come here for release it over my own life I'm not waiting on you to prophesy on me I am one who I got to clear I am well able to walk over and take by force warriors warriors me not lay down and play dead hold me your mouth push back the attack hold me your mouth reverse the curse hold me when I was looking at this text something hit me real hard something hit me real hard in this last days you have to have a Caleb spirit see all them last days of bishop you have to be bold you have to be firm and serious because I'll write in your horse then we can't something going through down by you all right all right <laughs> where is the worshipers tell somebody you have to have one bold spirit in this last days because you will go sit down in the taxi and the seat where you sit pan aisle up and you don't know You can't skip out this thing now, no. Because you become so sophisticated that you don't believe in no hell there. You don't believe in no spirit over the side there. You don't believe in no angel. All the things about that way you can't see. But tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, the whole concept of Christianity is warfare. You have to redeem the time. Knowing that the days are evil. The reason why the apostolic were so, the apostles were so effective because they were current. in the 21st century. Huh? Be bold. Like a lion. Hold me a mouth and reverse every curse. Every negative force that rise up against you. God give you enough where is the real Christians in here, man? It's kind of flat, you know. It's a little bit too tight, you know, man. Hold on. I, I, because when I was touching this, God began to show me something. and said, son, Jamaica is at a peak. And you tell my people, open their eyes. Stand up and take it by force. Don't die in the wilderness. Walk over in the promise. God said, these signs, these things that I do, shall you do? 
and greater works than these. So make sure you have one spirit. When I sickle, if you know any or anything, me need the real apostolic power. Me, real, me need the real fire. Me need God manifest in my life. Where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of too tight, you know. So all I can hear about what God do, 1960 yard. What God do, I do 1970 yard. I want to hear about what God do today. Where is the word? Kill him! Kill him! Shia, if God can use a bishop, God must can use me. Where is the warriors in here, man? If God can use our forefathers, that means God won't use me. Where is the believers in here, man? It's, it's kind of tight in a man. You better get radical. I come here to call kill him. I come with a word from God. And then I say, Lord. Jamaicans. Something about Jamaicans. I said, why, why Jamaicans? Uh, we always talk about dogs. Uh. When I was doing this, can we, can we go in, please? Why we always be? We always, all I call, we say, dog and them something. And, and, but really and truly, the truth is, Curse some of them we call like I say. Wagwan. Come on. Yo dog. They're coming me. <laughs> and if you are fat, they will tell you you look like all big Doberman. Dog. And if you're slim. <laughs> Then say your maga like mongrel dog. You come with me, man. And when somebody a curse you in Jamaica here, then say, look by you. You all maga cranny dog. No say, go man, come on, man. And if you laugh at a joke that someone does not think is funny, they tell you. You are skin up your teeth like a. Come on, no man. My skinny teeth like calm dog. Come on, no man. Come on, and whenever I get a youth, <laughs> see when I'm bridging, we know what I'm saying. <laughs> Come on. When I'm a greeting, when I say, oh, I go on, dog. Midday, I know, dog. I say, I go midday, I know, dog. <laughs> what a <the> pre dog. <laughs> Come on, no man. <laughs> when they don't have no money, when they say, me broke like dog. Come on, no man. It's kind of a little bit flat. Tell anybody about the truth. <laughs> I want to make real as I do that. <laughs> and I, and I, just, I know there's a bad boy, the man do it. I will say, say it. You know, come on, no man. <laughs> come on. And you, we know one popular song years ago that. You know, we go, old dog like me. And we know that we now we in church. <laughs> Where is the and if and if and if you now have no ambition, I, uh, you lose in life. But then say, then say you what this like a. Say, God, you're worthless like a dog. Come on, man. Where is the worshippers? <laughs> and if and if you're if you're very sick and I feel pain, hear them no boy, I'm sick like a. Come on, no man, it's kind of flat, man, too tight. I'm, go, I'm going in. Can I close off, please? <laughs> Come on, and if you're not look so nice, not look attractive, you're not beautiful, not handsome, hear them now? You're ugly like that. <laughs> no, say, go, you're not here already. Come on, no man, they say, you're ugly like a dog. And if you're slim, <laughs> they say, you're maga like a hole. No, say, go, and, and if you're fat, You're big like old Doberman. Dog. No, say go. <laughs> Come on, somebody. <laughs> and if somebody ever dead. <laughs> no, say go. She dead like dog. I mean, dead like. No, say go. 
Where is the worshippers? Wave your hand and say something. And, and if and if somebody's a sub my shame. <laughs> Where is the worshippers, man? Can I close off with this? Or you want two more? Lord Jesus, we can't talk about that for whole night, don't? Lord have mercy. And 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 we wonder where you come from. Come on, the man. That means that it is somewhere somewhere there. Where is the worshippers? If you're ever tired. What him say? Oh Jesus. And if you don't smell well. That's true. I, I close with this one, but you know say. Fix it when you attack it. Someone say fix it when you attack it. And if she have a lot of children with different men. No, so I go. Where is the worshippers? It might sound weird to you, but guess what? It's what in our society. And you say it until you realize you say it. But God says there is a people that carry something. Caleb, lap like a dog. I need a people. Nobody can shame them out of this. Nobody can bite them out of this. Nobody can stop them from coming and serving, worshiping God. Nobody can black you. Where is the worshippers, man? It's kind of flat in a man. One writer said, You pick me up. You lick me down. Me bounce right back. You know why? Because you can't kill this. Where is the worshippers? Oh Lord, and I'm not going around 40 years in this wilderness. I'm going over into the land that God promised me. I don't know about you, but I'm here to tell St. Elizabeth that there's a people in St. Elizabeth that God wants to deliver. And if you live in St. Elizabeth and not doing it for God, I leave Westmoreland and I'll come right in your backyard and I'll deliver your neighbor while you're there in a year bed. Oh, Jesus, where is the Caleb? Where is the Joshua? Where is the Caleb? Where is the Joshua? Where is the Caleb? Where is the Joshua? I need the Joshua generation to get up right now. You know? I need the Joshua generation to get up. You know? Because Moses is dead. Where is the worshippers? Oh Lord, I feel the power of God. I said, Moses, the servant of God, is dead. He said, now it's time for a new breed. Israel circumcised Israel a second time because they're going over. They're going to reap the land. Come on, Moses, have a staff. But God says, Joshua, I'm giving you a sword. Who am I talking to? You better tell a neighbor, neighbor, I don't come with a staff tonight. I come with a sword. Who am I talking to? To cut down everything that comes to block me to destroy every yoke that come to hold in a box come on somebody they see you as nobody they see you as a dog but God said great fear who am I talking to they see you as a nobody but God is just getting ready to raise you up who am I talking to God call you for spiritual warfare I said, God call you for spiritual warfare. The wrestle, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places. We are the warriors. I come here to tell you, resurrection power is in this building, and it's time for you to get up and take it by force. God already promised you. God already give it to you. It's your time to get up and take your degree. Take it by force. It's time for you to get up and take the subject. 
take it by force it's time for you to take that promotion take it by force it's time for you to manifest the gifts of the spirit it's in you stir it up stir it up fan it to flame god is ready to use you but if you lie down and play dead god can't use you god is looking for somebody who will give him the tongue let him use it Lap. take what you want put me about speak it into being follow your daddy everything god want he opened his mouth when god want light god said let there be light follow your daddy open your mouth let the sick say i am healed let the weak turn it with your tongue let the weak say I am strong. Let the unemployed take their job. Take it by force. Let the tail become the head. Let the last become the first. Open your mouth and declare it. It's my time. It's my season. It's my time. Me come here to take it. Me now go and left it. Me come here to take it. I'm here to take it by force. I'm taking my breakthrough. I'm taking my healing. I'm taking my deliverance. I'm taking it. It's mine. There's a miracle. There's a miracle in this room. With my name on it. Somebody open your mouth. Take two minutes. Shout a praise. Take two minutes. Lift Jesus higher. Take two minutes. Praise him right now. I don't know about you. But God says to tell you. It is your time. It is your time. It is your moment. God said to tell you. God said to tell you. You must open your mouth. Life and death. So open your mouth. Whatever you pine on earth is bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth is loose in heaven. You got to lose your healing. Hallelujah. You got to lose your breakthrough. Hallelujah. You got to lose your children. You got to Hallelujah. lose. Somebody lose something right now. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and lose it. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and lose it. Open your mouth and lose it. Lose. Up me a mouth and lose it. Hey, you gotta hey, shut down some stuff. Hallelujah. Shut down some stuff. Yes. Shut it down. Hallelujah. Shaya. Yeah, my Papa Shah. Somebody said, no weapon. No weapon. Form against you. Shall prosper. Every tongue. Every tongue rise up against you. Holy Ghost, I clear it down now. Somebody open your mouth. I say open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Push back the attack. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Shada. Yamasa. Hallelujah. Shayabasa. Hallelujah. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Say something. Glory. 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 Say something. Hallelujah. Yes. Hey. God shall use you. God shall use you. Hallelujah. God shall use you. Somebody help her with a praise glory, in here. Glory, 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 glory. Somebody better help her. Hallelujah. Push back every attack. Push it back. Warrior, say something. Push it back. Warrior, say something. Push it back. Warrior, say something. Hallelujah. Warrior, say something. Say something. Hallelujah. Just what generation. 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 Somebody said just what generation. 
No retreat. No retreat. No surrender. No surrender. No backing down. No down. Take it by force. By force. Take it by force. by force. Walk over in it. Hallelujah. Somebody up your mouth. I said, walk over in it. Hallelujah. Somebody up your mouth. Glory. Hey. I'm not gonna die. You're not gonna die in no wilderness. Go over. Take it by force. Take it by force. Take it by force. Take it by force. Yeah. Hallelujah. Shaya. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa. Somebody keep the praises going. Somebody keep the praises. Hallelujah. Somebody keep the praises going. Open your mouth. Hallelujah. Show it again. Glory. Open your mouth. Glory. Hallelujah. Shia. No weapon. I said no weapon. No weapon. Farm against you. Somebody start a war. Bleed the blood. Push back every attack. I said push back every attack. I said no weapon. Farm against you. Shall prosper. Somebody bleed the blood. Open your mouth, warriors. Open your mouth, warriors. Open your mouth, warriors. Take two minutes. I said, take two minutes. Take two minutes. And give God a crazy praise. Give God a crazy praise. Yes. Somebody open your mouth. Shout again. Open your mouth. Arise, oh Lord. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Declare no weapon. Somebody help her. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. He's raising up an army. Somebody say, I am a part of the army of God. He's raising me up. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Open your mouth and say something. It's not over. It's not over. Until God says it's over. I say it's not over. Until God says it's over. Somebody say something. Yes. Somebody shout again. Stir up the gift. Use the gift. Somebody say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody show glory. Glory. Show glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Show glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. He's doing it for you right now. God is breaking the curse right now. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Push back the attack. Render it powerless now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody plead the blood around her. Cover her with the precious blood. Blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. Yes. And I know. Why that says something? Worship I say something. Say something. Say something. Hallelujah. Keep the praises on. Somebody give him a hand of praise in him. Come on, warriors. Keep those hands clapping. Come on and praise the name of Jesus. Come on and yada him. Come on and glorify him. When the praises goes up, your miracle come down. Come on and praise him. Come on and shabak him. Come on and tehila him. Come on and yada him. His name is Jesus, the Christ of Nazareth. Come on and magnify him. The great Alpha, he's the only God. Come on and magnify the name of Jesus. Come on and glorify him. He's the Lord of Lord. Somebody keep the praises going. Somebody keep the praises going. Jesus is your healer. I said, Jesus is your healer. He's healing you right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it. Yeah, my Messiah. Somebody say something. 
Open your mouth and say something. I feel like I want to lay my hand on some sick bodies. Cancer. I want to lay my hand on the cancer patient tonight. Shia. Hallelujah. I want to lay my hand on the diabetes. I want to lay my hand. Shia Basha. On the chronic sicknesses. Hallelujah. God, you want to drive out the fibroid out of the belly. And every cyst must leave the body. Shia Bashaya. Jesus said he's your healer. Not tomorrow, not next week. But right now, your daddy, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is touching you and healing you. Somebody help her. Somebody help her. Hallelujah. Somebody help her. That's it. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. He's on you. He's on you. He's on you. He's healing you right now. Somebody open your mouth and shout. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and Hallelujah. shout. Open your mouth and shout. Open your mouth and shout. Jesus has to tell you. He is your healer. Jesus has to tell you. You are his. You belong to him. And healing the children's bread. I speak over you right now. And I reverse surgery from off you. And I command you to be completely healed now. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout again. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and shout again. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and hear Hallelujah. Somebody give him one more praise. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Come on, somebody open your mouth and shout again. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and lift Jesus higher. Show the one more praise. Jesus. Show the one more glory. Jesus. Glory. Hey. You see who this? You see who this? She was diagnosed with cancer. And God healed her. Shia. We are the warriors in here. Hallelujah. You don't hear what I say? Yeah. And Jesus healed her. But then when I stand up beside you, I look to my left. And you see that? God healed her from cancer. Ask her what the doctor tell her she have. Keep the praises going, warriors. Hey. Keep the praises going. Hallelujah. She said cancer. You know what? Are you sure say it won't attack? Where is your worship? You don't know her. You know her? And you are not attack. Okay. Me tell her which part we sit down when I come. I didn't even know you're coming to church. Me tell her where to sit down when you come to church. I tell her where to sit down when you come to church. But who will go seat you beside her? Where are the warriors in here? So if God heals she from cancer, God can heal you from cancer. Where are the warriors? It's kind of tight in this house, you know. Where are the Joshua generation Hallelujah. that dare to believe God? Come on, somebody said, no giant can stop me from reaping. What God have in store for me? Where is the worshippers? Stand up here. Shia. Yeah, Messiah. Yeah, Papa, sir. You better say something, you know, man. Hallelujah. You better shout a glory, hallelujah. You, know? glory, hallelujah. you better shout a glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Shout a glory. Glory, hallelujah. Shia. Catch this, mommy. When I reach home, this rod, I just step on the part of ground, home. It's a coin of the yard. Just throw this rod on the ground, sir. And just say, Jesus, seven times. Where is the worshippers in here? Just throw it on the ground and say, Jesus, seven times. And the old unclean spirit there. 
Holy Ghost arrest him and drive him to a far country. Up me a mouth warriors. Up me a mouth warriors. Up me a mouth worshippers. Up me a mouth believers. Hallelujah. Up me a mouth believers. Stretch your hands towards her. After three, all you need to do is just say Jesus over her. And when, huh? And when you say Jesus, God will do the rest. You ready, believers? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Silver and gold. One, two, three. Have I not? But such as I have, give I thee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I speak to every cancer cell. I command it to dry up and die. Now! Shire. Somebody help her. That's it. That's it. That's it. Somebody show Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Somebody say fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Holy Ghost fire, fire. Holy Ghost fire. Shire. Fire is on your hand. Come here. Come here, Mother in Zion. Come here. I see fire in your hand. That means you have the gift of healing. It's in you. God said to tell you, anytime the pain begins to ache your body, anoint your right hand with oil and anoint yourself. The anointing to heal your body is in you. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Somebody say something. Hallelujah. Somebody say something. Hallelujah. I'm going to touch your hands. God said you must wipe everywhere the pain is. Because Shia, Shanda. Yes. Stretch your hands towards her. Look in my eyes. I see something. Look in my eyes. Look in my eyes. I see something a while ago. The Lord says. You're going to get a lump sum of money. The money that I see, I see CI, Cayman Dada. You have any link to Cayman? Huh? Yes. Well, God said to tell you. He's releasing some funds from the Cayman Island. And if your ticket is about to buy for Cayman, go on. Because a breakthrough is awaiting you. Jesus! Somebody help her. That's it. Hallelujah. Somebody help her. Somebody help. Open your mouth and shout glory. glory. Shout a glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Shout a glory. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout again. Jesus. Shout again. Jesus. Shout a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout a glory. Glory. Give me a hand. Glory. Go and use it. Use it. You're going to help somebody when you go to Cayman. You're going to unite somebody when you go to Cayman. And the gift of healing is going to manifest. They're going to bless you so big. Shia Basa. Anoint her and tell her that the cancer is gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, where is the worshippers in here? Come on, real Christians, open your mouth. The gifts are in the church. Up me a mouth. I said the gifts are in the church. Up me a mouth. Hallelujah. Up me a mouth. I said the gifts are in the church. Yeah. Don't stifle the gifts. Don't hold down the gifts. Don't fight the gifts. Release the gifts. Let the gifts flow. Come here. What's your name? Shire. Where are the believers in here? Hallelujah. The Lord said to tell you, don't worry about your son. Jesus said to tell you, he's going to fix everything. He said, trust him and watch God fix everything. Come on, somebody, you better help him right now. Shire Basa. Somebody help him right now. Entrepreneur, help him. Right now, 
Come on, God, go raise up this child. Open your mouth and help him. Shia, somebody give God one more praise Hallelujah. in here. Somebody give the Lord one more shout in here. Hallelujah. Somebody shout a glory, hallelujah, in here. Glory. Shout a glory, thank you, Jesus, in here. You, Lift your hands. I know, I know time is far spent. You don't have to tell me. I know how it is in Pentecost. So I know how it is. Lift your hands right now. All over this building, those of you who are going through spiritual warfare are under attack. Your help is here tonight. Lift your hands after three. All you need to do is shout, Jesus. We are asking the Lord to give his angels charge to go and do our fear on your behalf. Lift your hands right now. Lift your hands right now. This is the gatherings of greats. Greatness in this building. Lift your right hand. We're going in after three. The Lord is going to shift things. Come on. Come on, somebody. Whatever the enemy is doing, God is your healer. God is your deliverer. I don't care what kind of pressure the enemy put on you. There's a turnaround coming. Where is the believers? Where are the worshippers? A turnaround coming. It's coming in your finances. It's coming in your health. It's coming among your children. Come on. A turnaround is coming. Hands high. Get ready. Hallelujah. Hands high. After three, when you say Jesus, we go into your house. Huh? When we say Jesus, we go into your workplace. When we say Jesus, we're going into your bedroom. Any attack, any foul and unclean spirit, argumentative quarrel, whatever witchcraft, whatever generational curse, we're plucking them up tonight. Shia Basha. We are all the believers. We're plucking them up tonight. After three, we're going to shout Jesus. And when we say Jesus, God will do the rest. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yes. One, two, three. Yes. 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 Cutting down everything. Cutting down everything. Chop it up! Chop it up! Block it up! Root it out! Root it out! Send it in the deep! Shut the Yeah, Somebody plead the blood, blood, blood! Somebody plead the blood, plead! Come on, somebody worship! Somebody give God a praise! Somebody worship! Somebody worship her. Somebody worship her. Somebody worship her. Your healing. Uh, your healing uh, is in the house. Uh, your breakthrough uh, is in the house. Uh, your deliverance uh, is in the house. Uh, your victory. Uh, your victory uh, is coming. Uh, somebody praise him. Uh, somebody praise him. Uh, so Come on, warriors, breathe the blood. Breathe the blood, blood, blood. Blood in the bedroom. Drive out every heat, every sleeplessness. Drive it out. The blood of Jesus Christ. Arise, O oh Lord. Arise. Let all our enemies be scattered. Drive them out. Bring it us. Destroy the earth. Blood, 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 blood. Blood. Shia. Yeah, mama, Hallelujah. Yeah, papa. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. He's your healer. Yes. Somebody plead the blood. blood of Jesus. He's your healer. The blood. Jesus is your healer. The blood. I said Jesus is your healer. The blood. He was wounded. The blood. He was wounded. Hallelujah. For my transgression. He was bruised. Yes. For my iniquities. Hallelujah. The chastisement of my peace was upon him. Hallelujah. And with his strife, we are healed. You are healed. You are healed. Somebody worship him for your healing. Somebody praise him for your healing. Somebody praise him. Somebody praise him. Come on, come on. 
God. Your healing is here. Your deliverance is in the house. Somebody pray. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody worship him. Somebody pull upon him. Somebody draw. Somebody draw. 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 Somebody draw from the well. From the well. From the well. Shanda. Rakusa. Shandi Katara. Shanda. Rabama Situ. Shanda Katara. Sikuma. Rakusa. Come on, somebody. It's your season. It's your season. It's your season. Walk in your season. Walk in your season. Walk in your victory. Shanda, Shanda, Shanda Kataya, Rakusa. Somebody coming to her. Somebody coming to her. Somebody coming to Hear me now. If you are not yet baptized in Jesus' name, run come now, please. If you are bound, you need deliverance, run come here. If you are sick and you feel like you need another touch, come. If you have not yet been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, come. If you need the Holy Ghost, Come now. Anyhow, Alter workers. Alter workers. Alter workers. Intercessors. Walk to this altar. Somebody come for deliverance. Yes. Yes. Jesus. If you need deliverance. Deliverance is in the building. Yes. Yes. Jesus. Make your way up. If you need prayer, come. If you are not saved, come. It's your time for your deliverance. Yes. Shut up. Yes. I see. This stroke leaving the body. I see. Diabetes leaving the body. Warriors. I see yokes fall into the ground. I see handcuffs fall into the ground. I see foot cuffs fall into the ground. Your deliverance is sure. Warriors, intercessors, it's your time. The water is troubled. The angel troubled the water. It's time to be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, my God, tonight is your night, yes, Jesus, my God, yes, yes, 
Receive it, son. Receive him. Holy Ghost is yours. Jesus.
Listen to me now. Listen to me. The Lord Jesus Christ is touching some of you and healing you. When God heal you and deliver you, testify. Tell people of the goodness of Jesus Christ. Amen? His glory shall fill the earth. When you speak of his goodness, his glory expand in the earth. Somebody give him a hand cup of praise tonight. Give the Lord a hand cup of praise tonight. Uh, I, was, uh, I was told uh, there are persons that is planning to come to our book launch. That will be April 1st in Savannah Mar. Uh, I was told to bring some tickets for the book launch. For the book from the guttermost to the uttermost. Amen? Alright, so if you want your ticket, you can go right over at the side. Right there, that, that sister in the blue. And receive your ticket. Amen? God bless. God bless. Keep the praises on. Those of you who come and you get a touch and God deliver you. Remember, go back to church and testify. And some of you need to be baptized tonight. Give your life to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody keep the praises on, man. Hallelujah. Glory to God. His voice makes a difference. When he speaks, he releases my troubled mind. It's the only voice. Somebody open your mouth and worship. Somebody open your mouth and worship. Yeah, 
There's a move of God in the south. There's a move of the Holy Ghost. Yes. There's a move of the Spirit of God. You got to move. You got to move. God get ready. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. You got to move. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, yes. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yes, loose, 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 loose. You got to move. Hey, you must move. You better move. You must move. You better move. You must move. You better move. You got to move. When God gets ready, you got to move. Hey, you better move. 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 Right now, receive it. 